So you have first the alphabet checklist. This is gonna be used as a guide for you to know that A goes for apple, B goes with the B, and you're gonna try to remember which one goes with each letter. Now you have the alphabet. You're gonna work on this with the alphabet checklist. You're gonna have small little pieces with an image and you're gonna try to match each image with the correct alphabet letter. So you're gonna have a J for juice, an I for an igloo, or a D for a duck. You're gonna do that with all the letters in the alphabet until you complete all your images. And once you're done, you have this one. You're gonna count which ones, you're gonna use your checklist to count which ones you did correct. So if you have three, you're gonna count one, two, three, and use as a, this little circle as a checklist. One, two, three. Now you're gonna use this one to mark that you had three correct ones. And you're gonna continue doing that every single day. Okay, so I have to memorize this one. We're trying to like memorize it. And then without saying this goes for juice as for sun. Heart penguin X ray watermelon. to memorize this one we're trying to like it. And then bunny without saying this goes for issues and this for sun heart penguin x-ray girl watermelon Zebra. Yellow. Okay, so I have to memorize this one. Guitar. We're trying to like. Okay. Without saying. Moon. This goes over in juice. As for sun. Penguin, X ray, okay. What I don't know this one. Key. So this is correct. Correct, correct, correct. Mm -hmm. And then correct, it's wrong. is correct, that one's wrong, that one's wrong, right, right, mm -hmm. right, 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 and right. So I have um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So I did 22. So with this one, you're gonna have an alphabet and you're gonna make a puzzle. So you're gonna use as a guide, the alphabet letters to make your puzzle. And you're also going to practice your calligraphy at the same time. So you're gonna see the letter on the top and then you're gonna write it. And after you write it, you're going to match it to the correct letter. And this is going to be the piece of your puzzle. And then you're going to go with the next one. You're going to write the letter again. And then 
you're gonna match it to the correct piece of the puzzle. And then you're gonna see that eventually you're gonna have your whole puzzle by going off the alphabet letters. And then, in the end, you're gonna use this to mark if you finished or didn't finish the puzzle.